Yo, what's up guys, can you do some two here back with a Pixelmon tutorial video. So today I'm going to go over what uh, Pixelmon side mods you guys should be putting in, in your world, um, either single player or, mul or multiplayer. Right now I'm on my single player world and I added, I added in a bunch of, you know, new mods, um, some official side mods, some not, um, that have been uh, really nice, made things a lot easier and just overall create a, a you know, pretty good experience for me. On this world so um yeah i'm gonna go over um, not every single detail i'll just kind of go over the gist of what what features i use in some mods so let's get right into it all right so the first mod i, I will talk about is the this is the jei mod um this actually does come with uh pixelmon reforged um the whole the whole launcher on uh cursed forge so th this will be included uh, but JEI is great. I mean, I would not play. I would not want want to play Minecraft without this mod. Um, you can, you know, uh, just look at recipes for anything, which is is what I mostly do with it. Um, at any recipe, you know, craft a PC, bam, right there. And then if you use it in a crafting table, you can actually move, um, you know, the crafting pieces around. Th this mod is just great. I'm in. You know, you can search for like a specific like TM or something like that enchantment book. Uh, you can, you know, if you want to craft a Pokeball, easy. Just like that. Um, there, there's a few other features, but I mean, mostly I just use it for easy crafting. So you don't have to look on the wiki and, you know, you know, try to search how to craft anything. It, it's right here on JEI. Uh, I, I freaking love this mod, man. So that that's the first mod. Second mod I want to talk about is Vibes of Plenty. This is an, another mod that is included um, in Pixelmon Reforged. But you want to make sure you, when you're you know creating a new world, you want to make sure you 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 select the terrain as Vibes of Plenty, or else these these uh, biomes won't spawn. But I mean, look at this. I mean, this mod just adds so much more flavor into your world. Um, there there are plenty of you know. Um, you know, just basic biomes like, you know, that birch over there, roof forest, but it looks, it looks like we got the Alps over there. I mean, new forest, forest, you know, new trees over there, new lease. Uh, it's just really cool. And of course, um, you know, the, the Pixelmon um, Pokemon still spawn in, in these, um, in these um, biomes. If not, they're like spread out even more, which makes it really cool. Um, you know, if we just go down here, um, you can see some pokemon spawning we got some cub chews what is that vanillite um you know just just really cool um biomes of plenty Ma makes it makes just your uh, experience just way more fun just it kind of exploring new biomes you know finding new pokemon all that like <laughs> that is that is a tall mountain right there but yeah biomes of plenty is is a very cool mod all right, so another pretty well-known mod is Optifine. This is what gives you this nice little zoom um, button right here. I'm actually on pretty high render distance. That's why I'm kind of lagging. But yeah, I mean, as well as this this zoom button, it does improve your FPS as well, which is super nice. Um, I mean, this this zoom key can you know you can you, like you can just see Pokemon clearly. Like there's a Starly, you never know if you just saw right here. Um, you can like tell if there is, you know, if you, if you kind of see a shiny in the distance, you can kind of confirm it with this zoom key. Um, really cool. Definitely uh, pretty necessary in this mod. Another cool mod is the backpack mod. Um, this mod just lets you carry more stuff on you. Um, I've been using this mod forever in like any mod pack I play. It's really cool. You know, this is just my pack to kind of bring the pixel mod necessities with me. But uh, you can make like a small backpack. Um, this is a this is a big one right now, medium as well, and they're they're not too easy to craft either. So it's not like you know fully broken that you can get in like one second. Um, you do have to kind of work for it. You know, you need um, this tan leather stuff for a uh, tier three right here, and you need bound leather leather just to smelt it, and you actually need two and a bunch of string per, which I mean you got to kill some Pokemon or like find a mine shaft or something to to make this but yeah just having uh you know just more inventory space when you're away from your home or something is really nice um so i i love this mod okay so another mod i do like using is inventory tweaks um this mod basically just sorts everything in your chest it has some other features as well but this is what i pretty much only use it for so right here it adds these four keys um to any chest 
Um, so if I just do this, you know, you see these are these uh, apricorns are pretty uh, unsorted right now. Bam, we got um, they're they're all sorted now, and then you can do like different different types of sorting. Um, it, it, it's just really cool. It, it does help your chest um, to sort a bunch of things. You know, I can just keep doing it over and over again. I mean, this is a bunch of junk anyways, but yeah, I, I love, I love this little Zeke right here. Um, definitely. Yeah. It, it is a time saver if, if you want to, you know, um, make your chest nice and neat. Um, this is another mod I do enjoy. So another uh, mod that is included in Reforge is Pixelmon Extras. Uh, most of these commands can only be used if you gave your uh, self permission in the world, but there, there's a lot of useful commands. I don't, I don't really use a lot of them in single player, but they are there if you want to. There's Pokey Heal, heal all of your Pokemon, um, slash PC. Uh, there, there's a ton of just, just really cool commands. There's also a fancy trade sim. Um, command which um, you know if you're playing single player and you want to try to of course fill out your pokedex there's some pokemon that you can only get by trading which obviously if you're playing single player you can't trade with anyone so if you just trade sim um, just a pokemon right there um, you know if this was a tr you know a, a you know graveler or something it, it'd be evolved right there on the spot which is uh, very nifty also you can um, you know do slash wiki and there's a bunch of commands you can do to, you know, look at the catch rate, um, look at the biome of where Keldeo spawns in, for example, river, uh, just, just really cool. Um, definitely a time saver to open up, you know, the, the pixel mod wiki and just have to search for, you know, Keldeo and look at its biome and, and spawn rate and stuff like that. Um, definitely a very cool mod, um, for this mod pack. Another feature I like to do with my single player worlds is to create, um, well, first of all, I have journey map. Um, you can see the Pokemon um, in the world, um, which is really cool. You can see the type of biomes, you know, the whole world map. Uh, it's kind of cool to fill out like the chunks around you and all that. But I, I like, I really like the waypoint feature right here is where I like have a bunch of waypoints just for like a whole bunch of different biomes because I mean, if you're just like walking around flying throughout your world it takes a long time um so i just like to speed up the whole you know traveling process by making tp points uh, you have to give yourself permission to do this but you know if i want to go to deep ocean i have um my whole output outpost set up for like fishing and stuff like that um you know for trying to get some kyogres or whatever um you know i have uh, I have my home right there, uh, you know, specific um, spots for finding legendaries um, and also biomes for like really specific um, Pokemon. I think uh, Oshwat spawns here or something. But yeah, I mean, I, I just, I just, it's a lot easier than having to fly everywhere. <laughs> you know, I got a Zapdos Shrine right here. Um, I reused it, but yeah it, it it's very cool also go over another mod right here where i you know kind of tp around throughout the world i have a, a mod that basically has the rtp command um so i can tp anywhere around like you can actually choose like the like the border so mine's like fifty thousand blocks anywhere and you know in that kind of zone um but you could just tp literally anywhere um until you find like a biome you're looking for uh, which is really cool. Um, like I said, th this just this just helps a lot for for finding um, new biomes and all that. I mean, you can also fly it around as well. Um, but yeah, I, I I just really like TPing around. You know, getting getting some quick loot from a village, uh, all that. So yeah, that was the um, random TP mod. So another mod I have installed is Pixelmon Broadcast. Um, this is really cool for um, just letting you know what has spawned around you. Um, you can also like TP to something if you want as well. I don't necessarily do that in my world, but it's you definitely can. Um, so right now I, I, I only have Ultimate, or I, I have like Epic, Ultimate, and Legendary, but you can do any type of boss, even like Uncommon, Rare, you know, all that you can um get spawns for shinies for legendaries um you can you can also um make um you can also adjust the the 
uh, you know, looking at the IVs, which I, I will show in a second, but this is definitely um, just just really nice um, for letting you know what's around you so you can, you know, drop your things in your house and search for that shiny Pokemon or whatever, whatever outside. Uh, I, I love this command. Also, it, it, it does help for finding Ultra Beast, which um, I feel like the, the, the actual like uh, mod should add because the because uh, they obviously, you know, um, show legendaries that that's the only thing um, the regular mod um, shows in chat but yeah this mod can show ultra beast um yeah it, it's just it's just really cool okay so i'll show off the last mod uh, before i go into my config files this mod is called or excavation which um it is is really um it re really helps with um mining ore so there, there's a key bind um i'll just look at it real quick um or excavation you can toggle any button i just use like a random button on my mouse key um, but really right here i got my fortune pick you can just mine a whole set of ores you know with i'll do regular and then yeah um this this really helps i mean the reason i put it in this uh, mod pack is because like the the, the point of pixmon is i mean personally isn't you know really to like mine and do all that stuff it's to catch pokemon which i just like to speed up so right here is like an outpost I have for finding like reg ice or you know underground, but it's also good for mining. So there's also there's other features as well. Uh, one by two, I'll just yeah do that. Um, it doesn't go through every block; it only goes through one type of block. So you can't mine two type of blocks at once, I don't think. But there's a three by three as well, five by five, massive, and then you just mine everywhere. <laughs> In a way, I think it gives you like two two stacks of blocks, but um, yeah, th this I mean also it, it does every type of block. So I'll just go, um, I'll just try to find like a tree. Um, we'll just go to Mushroom Island. Um, you can also, um, you know, break trees as well. Any type of block or 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 excavation can mine. Um, it, it just speeds up the process a lot. Um, you can clear out stuff faster. Uh, there, there's no way I don't think um, you can like place blocks. Um, you have to do those, um, you know, just manually. But yeah, breaking things in, in mass quantities is really nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna go o go over the Pixelmon settings first. Um, I'll actually just um, go real quick into the normal Minecraft settings. I just like to put. Um, I just like to turn off particles, you know, um, turn off clouds, rain, all, all that stuff just to help with, um, you know, FPS, um, and the details. I just pretty much turned everything off. Um, I, I do like my smooth lighting though, um, for sure, but yeah, I'll go into Pixelmon. So I do like to decrease the spawning. Um, some of you guys probably have no idea what, what all these numbers are, but I'll go, I'll go over it a little bit. So I, I the shiny rate is pretty much just the spawn, but I did increase like the overall spawn rate, so that you know pretty much decreases shinies as well. Um, so yeah, uh, this the, these bonds the the boss spawn ticks is however it, it's like a, it's I don't know it just represents a amount of time in the game, but I just turned everything, I just you know decreased everything. I I turned up the bot the you know the spawn chance when you do. Um, check spawns legendary i just created everything to 0.5 just to make it it, it, it was usually it was a uh, it was 0.3 um but i just like to do half um just to have like a better chance and i just reset all my keys <laughs> what the hell okay well that that sucks um yeah i, I also i think this was like 25,000 at first i can actually do this yeah it was 25,000 so i just decreased everything um Spawn takes, distance per level, that doesn't really matter. Um, I did decrease melt enchants a lot, and then, you know, de uh, decrease from ditto. Um, because, I mean, yeah, it, 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 like, it was at 3,000. Like, that's a lot of stacks of, of, of ores. I can just calc that, calculate that real quick. So that's, that's 48 stacks. Um, and then I, I had it at like 1280, so this is like 20 stacks instead. Um, so that helps a lot. Um, 
Let's see what else I changed. Entities per player. I think I increased this. Yeah, I, I just doubled it. So that, that means more. Uh, pretty much twice as many um, Pokemon spawn around you. Um, I just increased this as well. I, I also don't even know what half this stuff means, but I just, I just upped everything. Spawn frequency. I increased that a little bit. Uh, but that, these settings are here if you guys want to copy it. Um, let's see. Maximum spawn Pokemon. I didn't change that. I'm just trying to see center. I th I think this the, this means um how how many yeah how many the distance that Pokemon can spawn away from you. So um, this basically just you know spawns Pokemon closer to you. Um, I think I yeah I, I I increased that by a little bit. Um, yeah I, I think I think that's it for spawning. Um, so now uh, I'm going to go into my actual config uh, settings. Okay, so I'm going to show off my mod, uh, my whole mod pack folder now. Um, you can easily get to it if you guys are playing on the Pixelmon mod pack. Um, you can just choose open folder right here. Um, it takes you easily to the whole, the whole, you know, all, all the folders, stuff like that. Um, so basically, um, mods is where I have all the mods listed. Um, there, there's some that I didn't talk about that just comes with the mod pack. Um, but yeah, I pretty much all the ones I talked about are here. Um, they, they're all compatible. Everything's good like that. Uh, but yeah, going into the config, config files here, there's a few things. I generally don't like to mess with the config files, but there's a few things that I, I do like to change. So uh, if we just go to ran, random TP, click on config, this is where you can change, um, you know, like the border where you want to be teleported. Uh, which is pretty nice, you know, I have a pretty large border right now, 50,000 blocks. Um, it generally doesn't matter, but maybe you don't want to see, you know, TP'd around like 20 million blocks or whatever. Um, so, um, yeah, I didn't talk about Game Shark, uh, but I, I, choose, I chose to re remove it from uh, my single player world just because it's, it's kind of OP locating, you know, stuff. So I, 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 I didn't use that, um, but... There is the Pixelmon um, whole folder right here. That is pretty bright. Where um, it's it's the it's the you know it has the whole spawning. It's the ones I, I just the the things I, I just changed in the game. But this is another way to change um, the settings for just uh, the regular Pixelmon mod. Um, so yeah, um, and there's one other thing, Pixelmon broadcast, where you can change um, whether you want something to appear in the chat or not um generally you don't want you don't want um everything to appear in the chat you know whether whenever you um lose a battle or a catch i mean this th these could be better on servers where you can like let you know the people on your server know whether you you got wrecked by a, a you know a gym trainer or something or whether you caught like a shiny I, that that's probably good on servers but for single player i don't really like to show anything in chat except for spawning um i chose legendary ultra beast um there, there you could you could you could use you could change anything i mean it is the config files after all but this is what i'm doing um but yeah i mean log just means it just you know logs in the system doesn't show up in chat chat means it does show up in chat uh hover means that you can you know like hover over it there's some details about it you can tp to it and then if you if you uh do hover or no reveal um it shows ivs and all that for pokemon um but i think that's all i want to cover in this video um again this is for this is just just the mod mods i want to put in i mean you know you can kind of pick and choose what uh mods you, you want to put in your uh single player or multiplayer um world but yeah i think that's gonna wrap up this video so if you guys did enjoy watching Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe to the channel. That's it, guys. All right, peace out.